Security breach. This is not a drill. Security breach. This is not a drill. Initiating containment sequence. Dr. Patel, what's going on in Shackleton? Why the hell are you in the relictor chamber? Patel! Angie! Angie, come in! Damn it! Are you safe? Where the bloody hell are you? Oh no! Oh, you didn't! Get out of there! Angie, get the hell out! Patel here. I'm going in. Don't, Angie! Repeat, do not approach the relictor chamber! The containment field is collapsing! Acknowledged, Dr. Alami. I'm going for a manual shutdown. You are not! Systems! Override that! Lock down the sector! No! Do it now! Sorry, but this is not about me. It's not even about me. I'm doing it for Kira. Hold on, V. Security breach. Critical containment failure. The relictor chamber is compromised. Security breach. Critical containment failure. The relictor chamber is compromised. Unidentified malicious vector. Emergency lockdown. Countermeasures. General systems failure. Four systems compromised. Shutdown in progress. Systems! Get me that fucking override! Good morning, Dr. Patel. Are you ready to start? Top of the morning, systems. Let's begin. Can't wait to see what this newfangled interface can do. Arriving at Dagelash Crater. Forests on the moon. Rain, snow. I'll never get used to this. What a time to be alive. Dagelash Crater. Biome, deciduous forest. Air temperature, 295 Kelvin. Air humidity, 61%. Terraforming status, 100%. Let's do this. The Galash Crater, Experiment Track A. Dr. Patel testing Gravitonic Wearable Interface. Okay, we'll start with some easy tests. Let's see if I can mess with the laws of physics and move some of those test boxes. That was pretty harmless. Moving on to the next one. Compiling results. Carry on, Dr. Patel. <laughs> ah, the teleport devices. Instant matter transfer. Incredible. And to think IGEA Labs was sitting on this tech decades ago. Incoming com from Dr. Leia Alami, Xeno Archaeology Lead. Hi, Angelica. Having a nice time just throwing my historical site? Relax, Leia. 
It's just a batch of experiments. I'm not destroying anything. So you say. But those gloves you are wearing, this whole facility, in fact, the very air you are breathing, all that is historical evidence. And all of it was built precisely to test these beauties. Fine gravito-electromagnetic manipulation literally at one's fingertips. Idea Labs was a very shady op, but their tech was a century ahead of us. These things you are tinkering with, they are crucial to our understanding of the early Lunarian era. My team is here to study what happened, Angie. And mine to research physics, Leia. Patel out. Systems, let's carry on. Still a couple more tricks. Dr. Patel, you have an incoming comm from your daughter. Kira? I hope it's good news. I'll get it in my room, sis. Tell Kira to give me ten minutes. They don't give you enough bandwidth for this? I wish. Do you have any idea of the encryption we have to use? 
Everything is UHA grade. You can't imagine how hard it is to get just a few minutes of personal comms. Well, there's nothing Dad can't swindle out of the UHA, right? Yeah, no, I try to keep my begging to a minimum. Getting the expedition greenlit was already hard enough, though that politicking and talk of the devil. Incoming communication. United Habitats Authority. From the office of Arch Commissioner Ragnar Nguyen. Can't take it now, systems. The UHA protocol establishes priority for... Override. Send a 404 error. <laughs> Sneaky, Mum. I hope you're not taking after me, Kira. Who, me? No, ma'am. I'm a respectable woman. Oh, by the way, my research tutor says I might be done by next year. That's amazing, Kira. It's pretty cool, right? That means if I power through the rest of the PhD, I might be down there with you in just under two years. Really, Kira? I mean, I'd love to work with you here at Chandro, but, I mean, is this really what you want? I thought you wanted to go to Earth for a while. That shitty planet's not going anywhere, right? And things can't get any worse down there. Meanwhile, my fucking mum is revolutionizing physics on the fucking moon! Language? It's just not fair. You just don't want to share the glory, you hogging Orby boomers. All right. So, I guess I should talk to your father and see if he can... Excuse me, Dr. Patel. There's an incoming... I told you, sis. Send him an... Don't you fucking photo for me, Angie. I'm not your bloody ex. Respectfully, Dr. Alami, I'm in the middle of... Yes, sorry to butt in, but this is still a scientific expedition. I'm taking the Archeo team out to the field, and the generators are throwing a tantrum. Again. So if you don't want to spend all day waiting for the maglevs, I suggest you haul ass to wherever you're going to right fucking now! Respectfully, Dr. Patel. Fine. I'm sorry, Kira. I gotta... It's okay, Mum. I have stuff to do anyway. Go science the hell out of Luna. Okay. Love you. Bye. All right, let's kick it off, systems. I want to be done by the time Kira arrives. How's the schedule? The ship is on approach vector. ETA under three hours. Additional item, engineering has just submitted the new EM interface prototype. Ah, new gloves then. Please proceed to decontamination first, Dr. Patel. Yeah, biosafety procedures, I know the drill. Stand by. Decontamination in progress. Hmm. I wanted Kira to meet the whole team, but this place is deserted. Where the hell is everyone today? Dr. Alami's team is currently aboard Maglev C, heading to Shoemaker Crater. Dr. Korizmi is finishing a round of geological analysis in the northwest rim of Faustini Crater. Dr. Nelson is investigating a malfunction in the Antenna Array 72. Busy day. Please proceed to tech to retrieve your new interface. Oh, very fancy. Run me through the updates, sis. Enhanced responsiveness to tactile commands by 32%. Improved gravitational suspension by 71%. Sense of fashion decreased by 100%. Okay, whose joke was that? Last change log. Dr. Alami. Yeah, I feel you, sis. Beg your pardon? No, not you, sis. I mean, sis, as in... Oh, never mind. Please proceed to the testing area. Right. We have some unfinished business at Degalash.
Oh, very colorful. Systems, what's up with those fancy colors in my test cubes? Dr. Quarismi requested that magnetic polarities be color-coded in all gravitonic devices to simplify interfacing with them. Quote, same color repels, different color attracts. Warning, not enough cubes to activate the pressure plates. Come on, I've told them a thousand times, these plates only work when you put pressure on them. That's why they're called pressure plates. Turing wept. What am I supposed to do if they don't bring enough cubes? Stand on the damn plates for hours, again? Ready to test gravitonic manipulation, Dr. Patel? You know, every time we do this, it feels like magic. Just point these thingies at the cube and blam! Gravity is cancelled. I have to be pinching. Mm.
And that was that for today. Let's get back to the lab. Compile the raw data for me, sis. I'll grab a bite and get to analytics in the evening. Thank you. 